hello everyone welcome back to my channel so on this video i'm going to be teaching you how to make your egg nuts your cola nuts and your bead traditional beads and of course your fondant plates this is usually for nigerian traditional marriage cakes it's a very easy tutorial as you can see so for the egg nuts you have to some people call it garden eggs you have to have um, a very light add a very light yellow to your fondant you can use gum paste or sugar paste but here I used fondant it's a very little amount of yellow color to your white fondant so that you have that very light color so as you can see on this video, after molding the garden eggs, I was supposed to use um, green color for the um, leaves on it and then of course the stem, but I did not have green um, food color in the house, so I just used an equal amount of yellow and then of course blue. And that is what gave me this green that you see here so you can always improvise for example you want to use a particular color and you don't have it you can mix two colors to get two colors right there to get that particular color that you want so here you just roll it out and of course you need this um cutter i don't know it's not a star cutter i just bought it somewhere i don't know the actual name for it so you can just get the cutter to cut your leaves and then just cut the three that you need for the top of the garden eggs and then just apply water on it and then stick it to it and before that you have to use toothpick so that the stem can hold on it so uh, it won't to avoid it from breaking off you have to use this toothpick to just hold everything together so after using the toothpick um, on the the ones you've already molded what you do next is to try to create a stem for it you know it has this beautiful stem it doesn't it, it mustn't have to be um, straight just cut it out and then of course use your brush just touch a little water on it put it on the leaves and then stick it to the to the garden egg just like this it is very easy and then of course add a little water to the toothpick and then stick the stem or hood to it you can even bend it and then here you just have to use um, a food marker to just make those lines on it just to make it look very um, realistic this is very important when you do this you will not be able to differentiate between the ones you buy in the market and then the edible ones it is is it not beautiful of course it is i know it is beautiful so follow the same process for every other one that you're making this um solely depends on how many you're making or the size of the cake you're making and then how you want it to be on it so you can make as many as possible it can be small it can be big you can even make the green ones it's the same process just add green color to your fondant and then of course make the green green ones though those ones are smaller than these um other ones all right it's the same process you you would follow they're beautiful right so while we are on this please do not forget always um to hit the subscribe button please just like comment and of course share so that many People can see and watch and of course learn so on this one we want to make the cola nuts so for the cola nuts this is just a very um, light purple or violet color add it to your fondant and of course cut it you can use the same color of the garden egg the very light yellow of course and of course you can use the red also for your cola nuts so that is just um, shortening I didn't want it to be sticking to my hand so that's why I have to touch a little amount of 
rub a little amount of shortening on my hand and then are you seeing it first of all you mold it into a ball and then you just use your index finger and your thumb to just create the design you can do it anyhow you want it but ensure that the end result gives you this shape so I'll do another one so you watch closely and see it so first you make mold it into a ball and then you just hold it with your index finger and your thumb and then just bend it towards yourself are you seeing it just a little you're applying a little pressure from your left hand and from your right hand and then of course use your hand to make those other um, cuffs on it so it will give you the exact shape that you want some color notes are round others have this shape so it depends on what you want but this is really beautiful you can try it please try it as many times as possible until you get it and please when you get it send a comment send a review to me either on facebook instagram or here on youtube just drop a comment if you try it out it is very easy so i did about four so that you can follow it very well mold it into a round shape and then use your index finger and your thumb bend it towards yourself and then just like that and then you're all done so when you do it to make it look very realistic just use um skewer or any tool of your choice to make those realistic marks on it this is very important because when you make this mark you can then easily use your brown edible food marker to line it to line the marks that you have made so that will make it look very very realistic right this is very important if you don't have any that um, any you can use this skewer you can use, you can even use toothpick to make the marks on it and then of course after making the marks on it you will use your brown edible food marker and then just follow that line that you make right see how it's looking if you don't have food coloring pen or marker you can use if you don't have brown you can use black it will still give you the same result just that um, brown makes it look very much realistic so that is why I prefer using the black for it so like I said after making the marks on it just use the edible food marker or pen and then just follow that mark that you made right so it will look very much realistic when you put them on your traditional marriage cake Are you seeing how it's looking looks really really beautiful right and then of course you're going to follow the same process for the other color of color knot you're making so I use a very light yellow and of course red for the other ones so it's the same process just follow them just follow the same process if you don't want the violet to be this dark you can apply a little amount of the color to your white fondant and then just make it like that so those are the ones we've made they're looking really beautiful so on this one we are going to be making the red beads so what you need to do is just cut a little amount of fondant roll it into a ball and then of course roll it like a sausage just like so make it um this the rolling depends on the size of the bead you're making if you want them very small you can roll the roll it like this very small very thin i mean but if you want it larger of course if you want it bigger they have different sizes of coral beads so you can roll it bigger so this one i'm making the very tiny ones they are not um they're not very large so 
just follow the process after thinning it out all you need to do is to use your scissors and then just cut them into the desired um, length that you want them if you want them very small you can cut them smaller than this but if you want them bigger you can cut them bigger right just like that so I noticed this part of it was bigger so I had to thin it out so that it will be the same size I didn't want um, some parts of it to be bigger than the other parts so that's why I thinned it out and then started cutting it out again so for the bead you can use um, any color of your choice you can use coral color and of course you can use red so on this one I chose to use red right there are some other beads where you have to use red and white you know red and black and others so the process is the same the color you can always change it so after cutting it out look at what I'm doing my index finger and my thumb I'm just trying to make the ends of it very um, smooth so you just have to put it inside like this and just just roll it while your index finger and your thumb is thinning the the other parts the end part to make it smooth just like that just like this this process is very important so that they will be equal and then they will be smooth on the end parts of it watch it closely and just try it and then one thing about this is that when you when you when you watch like this always try you can try with any fondant of your choice, any color, any leftover fondant you have and then just practice. So when you want to make it on your traditional marriage cakes, it will be very easier to be easy for you to do. Please, lest I forget, hit the subscribe button, like, comment and share. And of course, let me know where you're watching us from. Let me send you a hug on my next video. I'm saying it very easy. So here we are done thinning it out so you can make as many as possible and then of course you need a needle and a thread. So for the red you are going to use a red um, thread so that um, when you don't use another color to avoid um, many colors on your color on your coral beads so after that I've already made some so here I want to show you how I made the hand and of course one of them um, the ones for the hand and then one for the neck so ensure that when you are when you are making this process of course when you are lining them all together you want to ensure that the um, the needle is at the middle of each of the bead. If it's not at the middle, um, when you're tying them, some of them will fall off or some of them can get disfigured and then that will affect your end result. So always ensure that the needle is at the middle of each of the bead when you're straining them like this. It is very important so that they will not fall off. And note that these beads are small, they are not the very large ones, so you want to be very careful when arranging them like this so that they won't fall off. This is very important. So I'm just trying to make one for the hand and when you're making the ones for the hand of course we are we know that um, children cannot get married it's just only it's just adults so you have to ensure that at least it is sizable not too small and not too big at least something that will cover an adult's hand I see some beads on some cakes and they are very tiny I was like ah. and I'm like is it a child that is wearing that wear this so when you're making it, you have to make it at least a life size, something that can um, that an adult can wear and be comfortable, right? 
so after that you just tie it so that they won't fall off and then of course you cut the the ropes out the threads So like I said, the process is the same. Just make as many as you want. And then that is just it. Please don't forget, hit the subscribe button. You can also go through my channel just to see if there's any other video that you might like. Watch, please. And then when you try this one out, please um, send review, drop your comments. You know share it to other people and of course very important hit the subscribe button so for this hand I am making two of it I'm making two of it at least one for the male and one for the female <laughs> right <laughs> so let's share it equally between them between the couple <laughs> So I made two and after that I will follow the same process and then make um, the one for the long one. Just like that. So I have to fast forward it because you've already seen how it is done. Yeah, you see, so we are done with that. And then the reason why I didn't tie them is because when I put them on the cake, I will know the length, then I can remove some if I want to. But I think I eventually tied it so that they will not fall off. So here I want to make the, this is the last tutorial, I want to make the fondant plate. So this is just a left over fondant that I have. That is a combination of all these other colors. The purple, the, um, the red and all. So when you are making your fondant plate, you have to have a template, the kind of plate you want. So I really needed this design. So roll out your fondant. It shouldn't be too thin or too uh, thick. Just flatten the fondant out and then of course just place it inside the plate you want you can use any plate of your choice the plate must not be um, this um, design but your fondant plate shouldn't be so big because if it's too big of course you have to need more of the garden eggs the cola nut to place to make it full so here I chose this size of plate because it's small and uh, it is I like the design so after placing your fondant on it, just cut the um, excess out and then your plate is done and then of course you have to allow it dry. So I left this to dry for 24 hours so um, you'll see it on the next slide when it was already dry. It was hard, you see it's already getting the shape of it. Sorry I used so much um, corn flour here but I'll dust it out, you see. So this is a nice day when it was already dried, you see how it is, it gave me the exact shape of the plate, right, and it's hard, you see I'm already hitting it, it is hard, it won't break, but you have to handle it with care, and then of course you have to put it in a, in a dry and um, in a dry place, place will not be wet, because if it's wet, it will go back to the original shape, so the bees are dried, or they are dried, you see them you can handle them now anyhow 
and then these ones they yeah, are even eating the two of them together they are all dried it was just 24 hours but you can use your hot oven if you want them to dry faster you can use your hot cupboard I mean not hot oven hot cupboard just place them inside for at least 20 hours and then they will be dry for use so here yeah, I just want to print the plate brown so just need a um, chocolate brown co food color and then of course your brush and then your edible spirit so just apply a little amount of the color in your painting I'm sorry in your painting plate and then add a little amount of um, the edible um, spirit to it and then just generously paint your plate so the plate must not be black it must not be brown it can be any color of your choice it can even be white and some people prefer painting it um, gold I don't have so much gold um, so that's why I'm just painting it this brown but if you look at it from the video you would think it is black it's actually brown when you allow it dry the color will come out but you can use um, please you can use white color fondant if you want the brown to be very obvious so I didn't want this fondant to waste that's why I combined every other fondant you have on this table to get this color and I didn't want it to waste that's why I used it and then I painted it brown when your light dry the color will be popping so when it was dried it was really um, it came out well though not as uh, brown as I wanted it but at least it's better off for me so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial please before you um, before the video ends hit the subscribe button share the video um, like comment please it's very important just encourage me by subscribing liking and then dropping a comment for me and when you try it out please come back and share your reviews with me let me know the areas where you had challenges so that I can answer your questions in the comment section thank you so much for staying glued to my page I appreciate See you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>